So, a couple of key features about the glider that we offer on a standard production is that it comes in either black or silver. Its weight capacity is 250 pounds. We will go up to 600 pounds of weight capacity depending on how big you need the chair. So take for example the width of the chair and the depth of the chair. Our standards are 14 to 18 in width, 14 to 18 in depth but we will go up to 30 inches wide on a folding chair. If you need to go any more than that, we have to reinforce the chair and rigidize the chair. Uh, same sort of application applies to the depth of the chair. We can go up to about 24 deep on the chair, but again, things would have to be modified. But our standards are 14 to 18. So <clears throat> here's how the glider works. Because it's a Type 3, we've got a greater adjustability in this folding chair than any other folding chair that Power Plus currently has. And what I mean about adjustability is what's happening in the rear axle here. So the rear axle in and behind this wheel, we have a vertical adjustability, we have horizontal adjustability. So there's a great range of wheel configurations that we can accommodate for the chair. Why do we need to adjust the rear axle? Well, to accommodate for seat to floor heights. So this chair will go down to 12 and a quarter seat to floor height with a wheel configuration of five inch casters and 20 inch casters on the rear. And that's something that you really should um, pay attention to because if you're trying to achieve a low seat to floor height and you're putting a little small little three inch blade on here, which is what you see here, and you have a 16 inch rear on the rear, you can't reach the wheels to hand propel the chair. So wheel combination, configuration, and seat to floor height is really something that you should be looking at. When we roll to the back of the chair here, our standard cane height is 18 inches. Uh, we will go up to 21 and we will go greater than 21. So what I mean by that is on our scripts, we're gonna have a range of 14 to 21 on the script as an option, as a no charge option. Uh, but if you need to get any taller than that, just ask us, we fabricate everything in house and that's something we definitely can do. Our rear back canes here are also angle adjustable. And what I mean by angle adjustability, we can angle them back from a vertical position back five degrees, 10 degrees, or 15 degrees. And that all happens in through this rear, um, rear assembly in through here. So you, you take the bolts off, put them in the next hole, and that'll give you greater angle, angle, up to 15 degrees of angle adjustability. The chair also has anti-tippers on it. So all of our chairs are standard with anti-tippers. And there's a tab here that you pull down it allows you to adjust for. Now these are very short anti tippers because we get a low seat to floor height, but they are no tool adjustable in through the receiver and through here. The arms are what we call a two-point attachment, flip back arm, and the arms stop right there. So they don't swing all the way down, which you may see that on the market, but we actually have a stopper the arms are fairly rigid. There's not too much rattle in, uh, in, the, in the glider here. So this attachment piece here will attach in through the front receiver. And again, very little rattle. And if you want to adjust the height of the arm, we pull a little tab there and through no tools. We adjust the height in through there. And we lock it at a higher height. The braking system comes in two options. Right now we have it configured where it's a push to lock, and I'll demonstrate that from the end user, so we're going to push a locket, or we have the option of pulling a locket, which is not this assembly, but there are two options, depending on uh, your end user's preference and what the therapist would be prescribed. The brake extensions on this particular unit, this is a six inch extension. We could put a three inch, a standard brake on it, a three inch, a six inch, or a nine inch extension, um, depending on you know the client's uh, capability to reach that brake. Now if I flip the arm back here, the one thing you have to be careful about is when they are transferring. So right now if I had a cushion on here, it would probably come to about here. The client would uh, clip the brake if they were side transferring. When we push down on this, it sits below the seat. So they can transfer easily over to the side. So um, be wary of what type of brakes you do choose. 
As far as the front rigging, we have a simple trigger mechanism here that allows for the hanger to swing in or to sw swing out, outward. Okay, and it latches in very easily. That's a standard on all of our products. So you'll notice with Power Plus's uh, tilt chairs, manual chairs, folding chair, all the front rigging are the same, all the arms are the same. They all, uh, they're all interchangeable with all the parts. Underneath the chair, the guts of the chair, we have a dual cross brace system. And what that allows us is to rigidize the chair so when you are propelling the chair, you get lesser flex in the frame and you get greater performance out of the chair. Overall, the total weight, uh, the weight of the chair will vary depending on what you have on the chair. So depending on the size, depending on the wheels, the brakes, and even your seating. But on average, this chair weighs about 31 to 32 pounds with a standard configuration. Thank you and have a good day.